Saturday, it is the 21st of October. And I can't believe it, really. Um, where has a year gone? I mean, I remember last form very quick, very clearly. And it's funny enough, you know, how the seasons go and you kind of end up doing sort of similar things that you did last season. Or well, kind of always reminds you, oh, yeah, it's that time of year again and... This is when I do this, or this is when I normally do this. If you're if you're kind of very methodical about a lot of the things you do, you have various different methods and um, or habits, I guess, because that's what we are, aren't we? We are creatures, and we form habits, and this is what forms our our lives. This is what makes up our reality. It's the stuff that we consciously and repeatedly do on a daily basis that gets us the success in our lives um and it's something that i'm actually going to be talking about today so <laughs> and the very reason i'm doing this challenge today um as a podcast is because i haven't done a podcast for a while I really love the podcast, guys. I love sharing with you, and it's a really good way of, of me um, delivering certain content. So, because I understand that a lot of you are, you know, better on the audio as well. Like from from my own perspective, I I read a lot of books on Audible, and you will know because I'm always sharing with you guys, aren't I, on my social media, all the books that I read. And all the things that I listen to and um, all the things and people that inspire me. And, um, yeah, we're out here growing, aren't we? We're growing together and it's a beautiful thing. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because you're allowing me to come into your world. And I appreciate how, you know, your time is precious to you. Like, my time is precious to me. So... Just allowing me to come into your space and to hold, and also for me just to hold space for you, which I'm always telling you guys that's kind of what I'm here to do, getting you to kind of figure out um, stuff on your own. How did you get to be the being you are? You know, it was a series of chain of events, like like the rest of us. You know. Yeah, just think about it. Like, I I think it's so profound. And when you have that realisation that you actually are creating your reality, then you can go in any direction. There's no limits. There's any limit that you've put on it is your own limit, your own mind. You know, you've told yourself it's it's this way or it's that way or this is how it has to be. And you've put limitations on yourself. But really, there is no limit. You know? So today's challenge was to get you to think about 2018, right? Because let's think about it. We're already three months left of 2017, so you can kind of like be more thinking about... January and what you're going to be doing January or what big plans you have, um, whether it be career or fun or holidays or whatever, like, you know, start to think about that. That's powerful. Oh, my God, my alarm's going off in the background. I don't even know what this alarm is. So that's hilarious. Um, I've got this alarm for some strange reason keeps going off. I don't know if Tristan set it because, you know eight-year-olds and um messed around on my phone god dear kids but (laughs) too funny oh yeah it keeps going off and I don't know how to turn it off so apologies for all the noise um and thank you oh yes I've got a bedtime week a weekend bedtime schedule set up 
I tell you what, guys, I'll be honest with you. Here's a little tip from me because I, it's all about me sharing with you and, you know, what really works for me and what I'm trying to do here and um, in in my world. And I'll just sort of share and give you a little bit of a window <laughs> as to what goes on behind the scenes at Queen of My Life. Um, yes, they've got some really good uh, apps for sleep analysis and stuff like that and to be honest lately I haven't had a schedule and it's kind of like now I need to get to a space of creating um the creating the vision I think well how we create the vision is how do we get there from a space of creation to to actually manifesting or bringing into life the vision of where we want to be. This is kind of like vision. It's why I want you to plan big today. So I want you to look at like getting a vision board, um, something I I did at the beginning of this year. Um, Really powerful, really powerful. It's just nice to see how things unfold. Um, It's just really nice to see. Uh, because the minute you shift into a higher space where you literally just know and focus on like what you want goals you know maybe it's maybe it's it's personal goals you know maybe you're not, I want to lose some weight I want to tone up I want to work out more I want to lift my up I want to lift heavier weights I don't know I don't know what your goals are like I want to sort out my garden I want to grow my hair but these things give you power yeah, because it's action taking. It's like not just wishful thinking. It's kind of like running with that vision of what you want to be, what you where you want to go, what you want to do. And this is possible for you. In the past few days, I've had conversations with some of you, those women that are on my challenge, um, and I've just had conversations in general with with some of the people I coach. And it's just all very interesting to see what's coming up in people's lives a lot. And this week, I felt the solar plexus stood out massively for me, anyhow. Because um, obviously, each day, I, as as you know, I am doing this with you. This challenge. It's not just me giving you the content. Every time I revisit the chakras, I get a, a deeper revelation, or I clear out a little bit more trauma. You know, it's that kind of it's that kind of stuff. Um, and it's, 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 it's so powerful. It's so powerful. I'm looking outside. Guys, it's so windy. My, my, I can see my gate. It's like swinging. Just came to check it. Oh my God. <laughs> it is windy, but actually, I'm slightly going off topic. I'm going to come back to the solar plexus, but it's windy. Um, it's windy. See, we've had this storm or supposed to be had a storm but it felt really really good like really good like the, I could, I could, we cleared out a lot of energy um I don't know it just felt it felt good for me anyway because you know I'm into all that jazz <laughs> you know properly in tune with the elements and I think it being my season and it's Libra season and the fall and the significance of the air because I'm an air sign and the significance of it being like a windy storm at the moment kind of just makes me think yeah it makes sense like all the elements are so connected and we're so connected and as we get up into these higher chakras which I'm sharing with you now. This is third eye. So we're already up in the higher ones. We've only got one more chakra, and that's tomorrow. And we're going to be talking about the crown. That's like more or less the seat of enlightenment. But anyway, yes, look, let's go back to the solar plexus quickly. Because look, you guys, lots is coming up for a lot of you. Whether you're my coaching program, with your um, friend of mine, I'm whoever you are, you're following me on Instagram, how you're in the challenge. Um, I don't know where you're listening to this from, however you found me, but just listen because this, this stuff can really transform you. And that's kind of the work that I do. I deal with transformation, but really in the inside, like mind, body, spirit, getting you really connected from that space, you can go forward in life and like really achieve, really show up, really make a difference in the world. Um, because you deserve that. 
like genuinely you deserve that we all deserve that we're not here for the struggle like I don't believe we are and I think once we shift our mindset and we make it a higher priority to just love and focus on good energy and good vibrations and I know I'm all, all into kind of that stuff but yeah like raise it up a little bit I always say raise the vibe vibrate higher like um you know, I went out last night, and no, it's no, no, it's no secret because you guys would have been um, watching me or maybe on the live last night on the Facebook group and my my group. For those of you who are on my challenge, um, listen, <laughs> you know, you know that you know who you are, yeah. Right on the inside, like no one knows you the way you know you. No one. No one knows what's inside you. That magic. Like, you've been playing small. Yeah, I'm talking to some of you because you know what I'm talking about. And you're listening and you're thinking, she's right, she's talking straight to me. She's talking, like, literally, she did she, did she, she inside my head? Like, what the fuck? Because, like, I know it, I know it, and this is why you're here. You know, you want to move forward in your life and you want to have more control over you. Not You can't listen, you can't have control over the, other people. You can't manipulate things to your ability all the time. You know, you just can't have it your way and it's not always your way. I mean, look, your way is the way, the truth, the light. That's how I, I truly believe that there is no other way except for the way that you create. Yeah, you got to do it your way. Because you're getting too sucked into other people's realities, then you're, you're going to be not really creating your own. Is that what you need to do? Is create your own? It's possible to create a, a future that is in line with your true self. You just forgot. You just forgot who you are. You forgot that you have this amazing ability. You kind of have to go back to being very childlike with this big um, outlook on the world with excitement and big eyes and kind of like endless possibility and like and, and the world is ours and we can do anything we want, like everything's our playground because it kind of was because mum and dad and like took care of us and like made sure we had food or whatever else we wanted and bought us treats and took us out and um did all that stuff. And I guess as you get older you kind of like you fear, don't you, the minute you leave home and you're kind of fearful of a lot of stuff immediately. It's like money is it becomes an instant worry for us if depending on how we were raised, right? Um, yeah, this was all something that I struggled with for, for a long time and this is something that I've shared with you guys this week uh, you, your money story is everything so if you if you sit in a space of lack and worry and fear and doubt then the money just doesn't show up for you because it just understands that even if you did get it you'd always be thinking there's not enough you'd always be worrying you would never let it go. You'd hold on to it too tight. And you'd let it go out into the world and do what it needs to do. You know, it's currency. So, you know, it's something like, it's a very mindset, it's a very strong mindset. It's a mindset mastery, like, of over money. To know that there's enough there, you have enough, that to be grateful for it. And this is something on my Live Like Royalty program. And the abundance program, like get, getting that abundance, like in the now, <laughs> feeling it in the now. You know, you to feel and live like royalty, I guess, in your own right, in your own world. You know, what you consider to be royalty. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm truly grateful in so many ways. I have so much that I don't have so much, but I have so much. In comparison to say like another country out there, like you know, not to put put anything out there is to say that there's anything wrong with but how they live, but in comparison is is just a horrible thing, right? But if we're talking about like 
hot water and electricity and basic amenities that we probably would take for granted here in this world, you know, as a, as a, as a first world, huh? <laughs> you know? And this is this deep sense of gratitude that I've learnt and mastered. And actually, I don't think you fully master it. It's gratitude is something that needs to be practised an awful lot for it to get to a level of mastery, I think. You know... It's it's something that has to be practiced a lot because that's that's just and be able to and then attract more from that space of gratitude. I am where I am right now, and I'm grateful for that now. This is something that you need to say as an affirmation. Well, not you don't need to say sorry, but um, you you would benefit from saying this. So. You know, I'm not out here telling you guys really what to do. I want you to, I want to facilitate and hold a space so that you can figure out some stuff. And I think you've figured out a lot this week. I'm so proud of you guys. Like, I'm seriously so proud of you guys that are on the challenge. You've really brought so much um, into this into this space where I where I reside. Like, you've brought so much into my world of yourselves and it made me feel so proud and just kind of like that I've been able to hold a space and create a space for you guys to like connect with each other so please don't let this be the end of it when the challenge is over please do join the, the rising queens pro, um the rising queens uh group and I'll be talking to you a little bit more about the rising queens program you know, the qu- the Queendom Pathway to Purpose program. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, this is something that I've, um, I wanted to create for every woman out there in the world. For the women that didn't get a voice or told her voice wasn't important just just get on with it like don't have an opinion it doesn't matter be quiet shh no one's listening no one cares are you there does anyone really care Like, I, I get it, I get it because I've been there, right? So I really feel a lot of your pain. Some of you, like, have been through some of the things that I've been through and we've connected like that, and I just think that is such a beautiful thing to, for us to be able to come together in this way and kind of heal each other. Like, some of you made some amazing, sh- super, like, blew me away with your um, shifts, like, super shifts supercharged shifts you know some of you used your voice for the first time this week and you said no and you took back your power or you said this is not okay or even you said to yourself like I'm sick and tired of my own bullshit and so this is why some of you are still on the challenge and still showing up and still getting involved thank you I appreciate you and I'm sorry for the, the late challenges today, guys, because you know I did go out last night. So let's talk about alcohol. <laughs> I swear it's the devil. So actually, in alchemy, the alcohol is used to extract the whole soul entity of a of a being. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's something that you know we can't deny when we get drunk or certain liquors or certain things that we um. We drink or smoke or whatever, whatever will affect us. Mood. It will it will trigger something inside us. So, um, you've got to be wise with, like, who you drink with and how you drink and, you know, responsibly and safely. You know, it's no joke. It's no joke. You know, it's... It's something that you have to be very aware of yourself. And, like, I was very aware of how much drink I had. 
But yeah, I was still super, 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 like, boom. But I think it was a lot of dense energy where I was. And I'm really a high energy being. And so I kind of need to be around that high people, right? Because it's like, I was trying to lift the crowd, dance around, like, on my own, like, trying to hold a crowd, like, or get people vibes in or dancing. And it's like, really hot. It wasn't hard, but I like to bring my energy to a, a place when I'm out because I think it's important to bring that vibe and that high vibe. But when you have a, a place and it's just like, not that, I just don't know what's happened in London. I think it's it's such a shame. Like, I don't know what's happening to this. Uh, the culture of of dance I don't think it's got a, such a good vibe as ballet I mean I'm going back like when I used to dance and 20 years ago when I used to really really rave <laughs> like total house head and that was a different vibe back then it was a different vibe back then and I think you know if you're a Londoner you kind of get that and you understand what I'm saying um and so it just makes me, it makes sense that, like, I've, I've really enjoyed being in my house this year. And I kind of, like, I wanted to go out to, like, even kind of validate myself. Like, I'm going to go out, I'm going to have fun. Yeah. And I was like, oh, am I trying too hard here? Like, what? And I just wasn't feeling it the way that I, maybe I used to feel it. And I think sometimes we have to revisit things to, to make sure that um, we're sure. Does that make sense? You know, we want to be sure, to be sure, to be sure (laughs) that we're making the right decisions when we're leaving things and ending things and moving forward in life Um, and clearing things and completion. It was funny because I went out last night and it was the throat chakra, obviously. We were talking about that. And I felt that that was a sense of complete completion for me on a lot of things, on a lot of levels. And it was necessary. Um, like I know, I don't, I'm not putting anyone down that wants to go out and party. Oh, my God, no way. Like, you know, it's all good. Um, and this was, like, my birthday celebrations. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. Like, this week I've, I've indulged a bit. But then I think that's okay. Like, once a year, your birthday, (laughs) you can indulge a bit. Um, But I guess if you're out every weekend, drinking, maybe in the week, like, you've got to look at what you've got to look at yourself at one point and think, surely this can't be healthy. Like, and it's excessive. And I've been in that state of excessiveness, so I kind of get it as well. Like, After a while, you're kind of like, whoa, yeah, like, this is serious. If I carry on like this, it's like habits, and it's not that great. And I was very much a drinker when I was out socially, because all I had to be, I had such problems with my social communication. I really did for a long time. And if you suffer from social anxiety, it'd be the same thing, you know? Drinking is like what people do to deal with a lot of the stuff like just having a basic conversation or talking to people like you know why do we need a drink all the time to sort of like soften a, soften a conversation or whatever it becomes and it's, it's the same in gossip as well like when people bond people use alcohol to bond or they use gossip two things that I think we need to start to number one have awareness that this is actually this happens yeah and and start to think of how we communicate better without these things. Or, you know, cocaine or MDMA or weed or whatever. I mean, look, I like, I like my little bit of weed. Like, it's not like as if I've not done um, drugs in my life. Like, I've, I've done shitloads of drugs. I'm not saying I never will do drugs. I'm not, I'm not putting that, on my, that pressure on myself. I'm not going to say ne- never say never. <laughs> but, no, I mean, I've experimented a lot throughout the years and this is one thing where maybe if you're a drug user or you've taken drugs you'll understand that they they say it's kind of a gateway to spirituality kind of opens you up your consciousness a little bit certain things and it's true like anything that's mood altering um 
especially to do with the third eye. I mean, they say marijuana is a great way of opening up your third eye. And I actually did smoke some marijuana and looked at the the moon um, and had my third eye opened. So it's a it's it's a powerful thing, you know. We can't deny it. Um, it's now being recognised worldwide as helping people with certain ailments, and obviously the cannabis oil was being used for treatment of certain ailments and fibromyalgia and God knows what else. Um, it's amazing. I mean, look, it's it's um, such a beautiful... I'm just so in awe of a lot of the things that are, are going to be happening in my life. Um, and I want you guys to be right there with me. <laughs> Big things happening in your life too. Yeah? Just show up and make, like, this life of yours a beautiful, beautiful thing. Like, this is the vision that I want for your lives. Like, I've seen what's been possible for me with just this third eye opening. Um, I want you guys to have that too. 100%. Like, I manifested a million pounds, and I can't tell you that's going to happen for you. Um, but you don't need to win the lottery to, to be a millionaire, I promise you. Like, you know... <laughs> You can do it. You know, I'm living proof that you can do it. You know, I always thought, like, you needed money to be successful. But it's not true. Like, so many people become successful because they're just amazing at what they do. They're good at what they do. And the money is the reward. And it's 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 just the truth. It's just the truth. People will be willing to pay you. And I'm living proof that that is true. People will be willing to pay you what you're worth because... That's what you're worth and you know you're worth. You know? Some of you are settling when you know that you can do so much more. Like, there's so much more in, inside of you. Like, I had a conversation this week with um, one of the ladies on the challenge. And we spoke about, you know, what gifts have you got? Like, inside you. Already. What can you do? That you don't have to go out and seek, like... You already, it already exists inside of you. You already own it. It's a talent that you were naturally born with. What are you doing with that? Cash in. What comes to you naturally? Just cash in on that. Daniel Laporte said it. Fire starter sessions. Absolutely amazing book. I'm also a fire starter, fire starter facilitator. So I facilitate her program as well as my own. But, you know... You guys, there is a fire burning inside of you waiting to be unleashed. You keep putting it out. I really want you to like team up the, the third eye with your sacral chakra, which is a really great way. It's like a threading, um, a threading exercise. It's a really good way, like figure of eight, like connect the two. Remember that your your third eye is like a personal trainer for your sacral chakra. Because remember, without the creativity of the sacral chakra, we would never be able to create the vision. You've got to show up every day and do the work, right? And use your creativity. And, and well, the, you just the creativity is there, and you might do it, but like the power when you come, the power comes when you show up every day using your creativity. You see, like for me, it's like. No days off, right? This week is seven days. I'm with you on this challenge. Some of you are with this on this challenge with me for seven days for a very good reason. You know, you're supposed to be here with me, taking this journey with me for now. You know, it might not be forever. You know, it might not be forever. It might just be a season. But I think if you're, if you're interested in really growing in this life, um, I, I think even just skipping out some bullshit along the way. <laughs> Trust me. And I said, when I coach people, I'm like, I'm going to coach you so that you can, uh, you know, you get to like not do everything that I did, including all the mistakes. You get to just go straight to the, uh, the good stuff. 
I can like I always say like imagine what your life would be like if you just dedicated yourself to yourself for just seven weeks. That's all I need. Seven weeks. Give me seven weeks of your life. And I'll give you a new human. I'll give you a new human. Like it you will be a new human. You'll be the well, you'll be your the original. <laughs> you know. The person that was before they told you who to be. You see, you were put here to do precious girl, you were put here on this planet to do beautiful things. You've got to believe that. I'm excited because I'm going to go live tonight in the group. I'm super excited to share with you that. Um, a little bit more about the the third eye. And tomorrow we have like the grand finale. It's the crown chakra. And I'm going to be sending out... Um, an email for you guys to fill in a survey for me, okay? A little bit of information about yourself. And you'll be entered into a prize draw to win. Da, da, da. First prize is one-to-one -one healing session with me. And that can be distance as well because I appreciate you have... There's some of you who are who don't live in London <laughs> and um, might not be visiting London soon, but you'd like to still have the session. So yeah, I can do distance healing too, so that's not a problem. That is the first prize. So the, and that is worth um, two hundred and fifty pounds. So that's amazing. That's a big prize, right? Yeah, yeah. You think so? Yeah. Ooh. No, actually, I just made that the second prize. <laughs> the first prize. The first prize goes to someone who is worthy of being on my program, which launches next. We're not at, we're not at next week. We're like 10 days away now. 20, what are we now? 21? Okay, so the doors open on the 31st. It's timely. <laughs> In a way, I'm kind of glad that I celebrated Halloween yesterday a little bit as well. Like, got dressed up in that. I'll definitely do still get dressed up. Like, me and Tristan will go out and um, trick or treat and, and dress up. I don't know, I don't know what he's going to be. I think we should be, like, be really, really a cool outfit. Like, see if I can be really creative and create something really cool. <laughs> Um, for us to go trick or treating together, I've got like a really nice cat outfit. Maybe I'll do the cat again. I did really enjoy being the cat last year. So anyway, back to what I was saying. The ultimate top prize is winning the coaching program with me, Aligned and Divine, the coaching program. Um, well, this is the Queendom program. Yeah, this is the big one. Well. It's it's worth it's worth five hundred. It's worth five hundred, and you'll get to be on the program for free. It's worth it, right? Okay, okay. Yes, it's worth it. I know you're telling me yes, yes, Rebecca. It's worth it. Wow. Okay, and I know some of you really want to get on the program, right? But like, you can't afford it. Okay, so this is the importance of me having this conversation with you. Um, you, I want you to fill in the forms and I want you to send them to me by tomorrow, fill them in and email them back by tomorrow. I have need to have time to obviously fill it all in. Yeah. And have time to read it. It's important you answer all the questions, be open and honest and you know, I'll pick a winner. I'll pick a winner and someone who I feel is really going to be worthy, but also who really shows up today and tomorrow and, and shows me what you're made of. All the winners have been announced and notified. Um, I will also just announce all the winners tomorrow as well, everyone who's won. And so we could all be like, congratulations, well done. 
and supportive and loving and kind to each other because you know you've all showed up this week literally you've all showed up and been amazing and you've blown me away all of you okay you really really have so thank you thank you thank you so much and just thanks for listening guys because I know this is like a little bit long um but no more longer than my lives my lives are like crazy okay but last night we had a bit of a short life because I was going out and I guess like it was a Friday night So I'm guessing some of you were just out partying just as much as me. (laughs) So tonight, maybe I'll catch a few of you on the 8 o'clock live. We're going live in my Facebook group. And if you want to be in the group, please do. Just come and have a like, say hi. We want to... We want you to know. You can just nose around for a bit. But just as long as you are, are respectful and kind and considerate... And showing up with love and support for each other. This group is a beautiful group. Like, there's like 50 members. It's super cute and super small and super intimate. And I love it. I love you guys. I'm so grateful for you. And I really think we're going to like change and transform and change the world and have this big impact. Like, you're on, if you're on this journey with me now, I think it's just a beautiful thing. So let's go out into the world and, you know, totally, um, totally spread the love. Because I know that's what you guys are about too. I know that's why you're here. Because you want to be a difference in the world or see some difference in this world. I know and I get that. And um, you need to be happy, healthy and strong so you can deliver, you know. You have to be happy, healthy and strong. You've got it in you. When you're the strongest you can be in your mind, body, and spirit, you can go to you can go out into this world and help others. But until then, please just take enough time you need to take care of you, because that's what we need to do. If we all just took responsibility for ourselves and took care of ourselves, like the world would definitely be a better place. Let's think about it. Yeah. So thanks, guys, for showing up. Honestly. <laughs> It's my favourite word of the week. <laughs> and Brené Brown is just the woman, the ultimate showing up woman. She's, uh, her book, The Vulnerab- Power of Vulnerability, she talks about just showing up and just being yourself. And, you know, that's good enough. Because I think we always feel like we're going to be shamed or judged if we're truthful, we're honest, or we're authentic, which, you know, we've been dealing with a lot yesterday. Um... And I just think it's so liberating just to be like, no, this is me. Like, I've definitely had lots of insecurities over my life. I've I've been hurt. I've been let down. I've been abandoned in many ways. But, you know, I never really got to know myself. And I think if I really took time to get to know myself and love myself, a lot of the things that life threw at me, maybe I'd have been able to deal with them a little bit better. You know, you've got to have this tough you know, like, not like tough look on life because, you know, you want the softness, but you want the fierce softness. That's like the divine feminine. It's kind of that I'm soft, but I'm fierce at the same time. It's a very, very hard one to pull off (laughs) because sometimes you're just too dominating and other times you're just not enough. And this is where you find it in the third eye as well. It's that balance, that duality that we talk about. So I'm looking forward to exploring a little bit more of the third eye in the group tonight 8 p.m over my facebook group if you go to my business page on facebook you can find me under the name of lady rebecca nichols and you'll find me there you can click on sign up and then you'll be in the group anyway as you see i've only got a couple of days left for the challenge so if you if you are coming onto the challenge now do you know what? Just why not? This might be what you exactly need. Maybe you only needed two days. Maybe all your other chakras are fine. And you just need to get vision. And you just need to get to enlightenment. Well, I hope I can assist. Lots of love, people. Have a beautifully blessed Saturday evening or day or afternoon, <laughs> wherever you may be in the world. <laughs> it's been my pleasure. Okay, we'll speak soon. Bye.